at the dawn of the 21st century, the Army began a top-secret experiment. Meet Joe Bowers, our first subject for the human hibernation experiment. As you know, this is highly classified. However, if successful, we believe humans can be stored indefinitely. However, the trial run was prone to human error. See you in a year. And Joe slept slightly longer than expected. Half a millennium to be exact. From Mike Judge, creator of Office Space and Beavis and Butthead. Oh my God! Oh. Ah. Ah. If you were the smartest person in the world. This goes in your mouth. This one goes in your butt. Hang on a second. This one, this one goes in your mouth. And we're stuck with the dumbest people in history. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two? What would you do? Excuse me, um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison. You're in the wrong line. I'm the smartest guy in the world? Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. Even smarter than President Camacho. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of America! In the year 2505. We got this guy. He's going to fix everything. So you smart. The ordinary will be considered extraordinary. I thought you here would be bigger. Idiocracy. For the smartest guy in the world, you're pretty dumb sometimes. Hey, folks. Welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. Uh, today, I want to get into where we're transitioning to the Americanese slave labor movement, where the Chinese will become the consumers, the Brazilians, the Russians, the Indians, and South Africans, the rest of the world, the developed countries, as they say, versus the traditional European and Americanese companies will become the slave laborers, especially in the United States. I want to show how that's going to happen. Uh, as some of you may know, I spent uh, at least a couple decades in Wall Street, working on Wall Street back in 1985 to 2004, and then I cashed out in 2007, sold everything, because this is where I was in 2007, saying, get the heck out. Market crash, thought that was it. Moved to a ranch, grew my own food, raised my kids to know where things come from, how to take care of themselves. But look at what has increased since 2000. And low bottom of 2008 down here of 6,900 up to a high, a peak of 24,000. What did that say? 24,000, 26,392. And today the market's dropped nearly 2,000 points. But you can clearly see how much further we have to go on. Now, just this is all built on debt, folks. And it's keeping interest rates low that has caused this to happen. And this is the chart you need to look at bond yields versus the public sector debt. And you can see the debt to GDP has gone through the roof while yield rates have lowered. But one thing I want you to note about technical analysis, I was a technical analyst basing uh, historical trends on future predictions. And one thing is when they go up vertical, they come down vertical. It's called the Roman candle. And you will see this market correct straight down to this level right here, 18,000 or so before you can expect some support. And here's some more support. This double bottom down here is another crucial one, 15,885. So you can expect initial support down to here, this area. But after that, the next support is not coming until way down here, folks, at 13,000. So unless your portfolio can take a 15,000 point hit, go into gold, go into silver now. Put some cash in your home, protect, get some protection because things are going to get worse as I'm going to show. And here I wanted to show how the, the, the growing uh, is going in the gro gross domestic product. Now remember GDP, <laughs> you know, the consumer price index, the inflation index does not measure food and energy. They only measure consumption. GDP, same way. Uh, smoking cigarettes, stock goes, sell more cigarettes, stocks go up. More people get sick, GDP goes up. But the BRIC countries that I mentioned, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, some of the biggest countries in the world, are, become, are going to become the new consumer debts, consumerism. They're going to put them into massive debt as they already have started. But here you can see the GDP is expected to rise precipitously on this uh, chart, statistics chart of 2020, uh, growing to 15.5, so a doubling of the GDP predicted in eight years, and they're well on their way. But this is going to collapse the other economies based on uh, the U.S. economy. Now, here we got uh, this guy here, a very important guy, Paul D. Ryan, Wisconsin. I'll show you why in a minute. 
But here today, they're going to be raising the debt ceiling. This is another thing. The massive debt is all that's going to bring it down. Uh, we've gone into massive debt, consumer debt, uh, prime loan debt, prime car debt. We're seeing uh, those that took out prime loans for cars with four, with five, six-year loans now turning in cars because the cars are worse, worth less than their loan payments. So they can't get the value out of the cars. So they're just dumping the cars everywhere. And that works perfectly in hand, like within Houston, where they took out the largest refineries in Hurricane Harvey. Why? Because we're going to autonomous cars. And we're going to battery cars first. So they got to get rid of the fossil fuel. Huh? Fossil fuel, right? How many dinosaurs died? Uh, uh, oil-based economy into a battery-based economy to autonomous cars to Americanese slave labor, as I'm going to get into in a minute. So here they increase the spending by $300 billion, over a quarter of a trillion dollars, just <laughs> for more military spending, folks. They want to spend more on military and 90 billion disaster relief hurricanes and wildfires, but we already know that people aren't getting diddly squat. They're still not getting anything from these people. Now, why am I bringing up this guy, Paul Ryan? Well, he's instrumental in bringing this Foxconn plant coming to Wisconsin, which we're going to get into in a minute. But first, I wanted to go over uh, more about the debt here because it's very critical to understand where we're going. The state of American debt slaves, as I'll get into, credit card student debt hit all-time highs in December. Uh, ICE uh, immigration control is becoming an intelligence agency. You notice this, uh, Trump's State of the Union greatly increasing funding for ICE. Uh, increasing spending cuts will explode the size of the national debt. We're already at $21 trillion, folks. $21 trillion just in current debt. This is an obligated debt. That's over $70,000 per man, woman, and child. Every child born is going to have a debt service on its head. There's unforgivable debt that's being put on all our balance sheets. Uh, the key is mortgage rates, as I showed you, mortgage rates spiking to highs. The 10-year yield spikes, it's breaking out. You see this level right here. Once it breaks out from there, prices go down, rates go up. You need to know about how bonds work. So when you see prices going down, people selling, that means yields are going up. So the Dow is crashing. They're calling it, well, no, it's been an excess vertical or rational exuberance as, as the uh, Freemason uh, Knights of uh, Knights of the Order for England, Sir Alan Greenspan, would say. Uh, Trump wants to put on a grand military parade in Washington like they have in France. Why does Trump want to put on a grand military show? Because we're a military nation of the three, the Vatican, the city of London, and Washington, D.C. Please, folks, tell me the date Washington, D.C. was founded. No one can. Can anyone tell me what the District of Columbia means? No one can. It's a corporation. They're a military corporate operation. That's why all these private Blackwater Z, all these Academia, Academia, they're all being brought up as private mercenary armies. So we see a Chinese billionaire is moving production to the U.S. Cut, to cut costs. Because we're becoming Americanese, okay? This is what is happening. So let's take a look again at what they got planned for us. So Foxconn is coming, plant coming to Wisconsin. This is July 27th, 2017. Who is Foxconn? World's largest manufacturers. All your iPhones, smartphones, computers, most of them. But what are they planning? Assembling iPhones, but it's not what's made at this plant. Instead, it would manufacture liquid display, display screens for computers, televisions, self-driving cars, aircraft systems, and other products, according to Scott Walker's administration. It'll be the largest economic development in Wisconsin history. Uh, it's to grow to over 13,000 workers in six years, taking up 20 million square feet, three times the size of the Pentagon on a campus spread out 1.56 million, giving one and a half billion in income tax credits to come and put manufacturing plants where everybody's going to be making $15 an hour. That's what they have planned for us, folks. Now, as you can see from this video, uh, what Foxconn's on about in Shanghai, China, uh, they have 1.3 million factory workers making your smartphones and smart devices. And now it's coming to the United States. Trump's going to sell it as bringing jobs to America at $15 an hour. The problem is costs are going up so much people can't afford to live in anything but stack them and pack them homes. Now, the problem with Foxconn in China, like Nike in Indonesia and whatnot, is slave labor. Now, we in the United States, not America, America includes South America, Central America, and Canada, 
but we call ourselves America, so I'm calling ourselves Americanese because that's what they're turning us into. China holds all our debt. No, they did not buy California. That's just another story going around, but it's all about this Chineseification, Americanese of the USA, which is in massive debt, which I've gone in my past videos, must be destroyed and repurposed. So this is what Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, Agenda 2045, by using transhumanism through 5G technology, smart dust, autonomous robots, will be taking over many of the jobs. So the Georgia Guidestones reduction of population by 95% may come to fruition. Uh, please Google, read Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. But here you can see they've tried and they've tried and the uh, 1.2 million people that have to be little obedient servants for their masters. That's what we will be soon because we're all, all in debt servitude. And we refuse to revolt against the system. We refuse to learn what we need to learn in order to stop this madness. And we're seeing it going on everywhere. The homeless crisis is going to get worse. The police state is going to get worse. Biometric real IDs are coming. Mandatory vaccinations for all is right around the corner. They're going to turn off the power in the United States, and we're going to wake up one day in a different world. They have to take up the take off the power, take it out to sell the the space based uh, energy systems. Google Solarin Corp. Uh, look up space based energy. And that's why all these disasters are having energy problems, power downs, because they're going to convert to the space-based power. And then where will you be? So this is just going on at Foxconn. Foxconn just opened up, going to open up the largest factory in the USA. And many more are coming, as Trump has stated, for us to become little good slave Americanese laborers. More foreign companies in China are packing up their bags. The South China Morning Post reporting that a number of firms have been shutting down operations in the country. Panasonic, for example, stopped manufacturing televisions in the country in 2015. And more recently, Seagate, the world's biggest maker of hard disk drives, closed its factory just last month. Foreign companies have pointed to the country's high tax regime, rising labor costs and stiff competition from domestic companies as reasons for the move. At the World Economic Forum meeting last month, the Chinese president tried to reassure investors that China remains open to foreign investment. You see the Foxconn, they're rioting in China, and the Chinese factory closed after 2,000 riots and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> slave labor, folks, that's what's happening. And U.S. Uh, said, Treasury set to borrow nearly $1 trillion this year, more debt. So the billionaire boom goes on while well, the world's richest uh, took 82% of all new wealth created in 2017 while the bottom half got zero. Um, race to the bottom. Month after getting three and a half billion tax breaks from Trump, back America hikes fees on poorest customers. You see what's going on here. Tale of two cities, how smart robots and AL will transform America, will be optimized. What are people for? Here you see the automation going on with Amazon, <clears throat> excuse me, opening uh, uh, stores where <clears throat> reluctant uh, septuagenarians, I think that's 80-year-old workforce, Toys R Us to close up to 182 stores with Macy's and everybody else. They're going to turn the malls into re-education centers, it looks like. That's where they're built like little prisons, folks. It's all in the works, all in the plans, long-term planning. So how are they going to track all of us in our little factories? Amazon and ultra ultrasonic tracking wristbands to control workers. Our buddy Jeff Bezos, who also owns the Washington Post, controlling all the news. Guess which shithole has the world's most overcrowded prison system? Yeah, who also ranks 38th in the world in health care? Does anybody in this country ever talk about this? No. Uh, Department of Homeland, Homeland Security and Security is convincing states to lower the alcohol limit to 0 0.05. More arrests more illegals uh, opioid use now tops tobacco use drug america <clears throat> we are the world leader in drug overdoses now what is the war on drugs about increasing drug use because what happens in increasing drug use increases crime what happens increasing crime you need more police force and now department of homeland security ice national guard they're all moving in as we saw during santa rosa's <clears throat> uh, directed energy uh, genocide that occurred in October and occurred down in Los Angeles and uh, Southern California as well. 
Uh, DHS is planning to arrest sanctuary cities. This is the conflict that Trump and the administration is creating to California, while California's mayors or, or uh, governor is telling any mayors that uh, give any uh, uh, immigrants to the DHS will be fired. So they're creating the conflict as they're droughting us out here. We're not any forecast for rain, folks. We had one little piddling of rain, and that's it. There is no weather here other than 85 degrees. DOJ threatens sanctuary city with subpoenas. Here we go. Puerto Rico, mental health crisis, American disaster. FEMA to officially shut off food and water. Growing homeless population. Atlanta's airport sparks safety health. This is going on across the United States everywhere. U.S. gives $2 billion to help homeless amid plans to cut housing. So they're cutting housing aid everywhere, and there's more people on the streets. So they're funding the homeless, but none of the homeless are getting any money. It's all a ruse. They're all corporations, all set for profit. And here in Sonoma County, Santa Rosa, they just announced they're cutting 40 mental health, cutting 40 mental health jobs, reducing, I believe, by 30% the budget for, uh, for mental health. Um, as more and more people are going crazy and losing jobs and being forced out into the streets, what happens? You're going to have more people in need of mental health. So what happens? They cut services. This is all by design. Most of Sonoma County psychiatric patients sent out of the out of the county. What is this about? Well, this is about getting rid of your problem and shipping them out. All right. So press Democrat mental health patients sent outside. Santa Rosa charity forced to cut homeless. Bust out is from the Guardian in England chronicling the United States how Americans moved thousands of homeless people on one-way bus tickets out of town. And you're going to get my point here in a minute. Federal judge Houston can clear out homeless tent cities. It's going on everywhere. Illegal aliens quietly being located throughout U.S. on commercial flights. This is going on everywhere. Based in southeast China, Yupa is one of the biggest factories on the planet. Today and every day, its 17,000 workers are getting the world ready for breakfast. Yupa, a Taiwanese company, moved here in 1988. In a few short years, it became the largest manufacturer of irons, electric grills, and espresso makers in the world. Yupa is a city unto itself, with restaurants and convenience stores soccer fields and basketball courts, and living quarters for everyone from students to families. Success made it big, and size keeps it successful. Mass production runs push down costs. Almost all parts are made on site, keeping supply costs low and parts within easy reach for a fraction of a Western wage. 16-year-old Mao Fen Guao left her family and came here in 2008. But Guao isn't just looking for work. She's here to escape poverty. Guao is a worker in training. With about a thousand other students, she attends Yupa's on-site trade school. To get here, she had to pass entry exams and pay Yupa tuition. Now she's enrolled in three years of study and hands-on training at the factory. If she does well, Guao hopes for a job at Yupa. Today, she and her classmates are learning everything they ever wanted to know and more about irons. You know, espresso machines. In the space of one year, nearly two and a half million coffee makers will pour out of Yupa and into the kitchens of the world. So I want to wrap up here with this document that is a future-looking document. Uh, West Penry Production presents Synthetic Super Intelligence in the Transmutation of Humankind. And this is a serious document. It's chronicling how we're going to be transhumanized into hybrid cyborgs, uh, how they're going to do it, what they're going to do. Um, also the work of uh, Ray Kurzweil, who's been very involved uh, with the transhumanism agenda. <clears throat> and here you can see 
Kurtz Wells, a short introduction and why it's important. Bill Gates, vaccinations, chemtrails, and nanobots. Covering some stuff. Covers alien invasions, which I'm, I don't subscribe to, but it has a lot of good information. And I'll see if I can get this in the show notes. But here's what I want to point your attention to. Smart cities and the Venus Project. Well, what is this Venus Project they're alluring to? Well, it's smart cities. And they will be the future. The Venus Project, a brief summary, is an organization proposes a plan of action for social change, presents a vision not of the future will be, but of what it can be, presents an alternative vision of a sustainable world, uh, fits right into the agenda. It's a model of a smart city, smartphone, smart everything, and we're the dumbasses who subscribe to it. Um, so this goes into this Venus Project, and to show you how real the Venus Project is, take a look at this, folks. Here it is, the Venus Project. Notice the V, V for Vendetta, the Jesuits. Uh, and they're showing how this is very well being planned out for futurism. Now, folks, if this doesn't look like a prison to you, please take a closer look. So here's everybody living in the cities. Remember the Chinese with all the uh, cities that aren't built, that are built and no one in yet? Look at the moats. These are only walking. Anybody can get out of here? No. Look at the surrounding areas. It's all bio lands, uh, wetlands. And these are solar panels, I guess, or these are the perimeters that can travel. And these are the people that can working inside in their little factories that don't go anywhere, as we discussed earlier. But here in the Venus Project also, I wanted to bring your attention to here, um, the transhumanism part of it. Let me see if I can get this down here. And they show how these cities will be transhumanized into cyborgs, and people will become part of the, the whole cyborg community. And here we read, the controllers are well aware and are playing on what Fresco, who's the Venus uh, Projects guy, boldly is revealing the entire overlord agenda in public. Here's the truth in plain sight, and people are getting positively excited over their own extinction. Amazing. From transhumanism to singularity, you talked about here, the beehive, the singularity. We all have brains that are computers. They're going to tap us all into, uh, into our computers each, and they're going to beehive us into a singularity consciousness is the plan for artificial intelligence, using chemtrails, using nanobots. Uh, it's all here in this document, and it's a very, very interesting read that I hope you uh, take a look at and, and find time to go through. Communist regime established so so-called special this economic zones, designated places for free markets and, and foreign investments. Debt cycle. It works so well in the United States that they're now using it around the world, and they're turning the United States and uh, European nations into uh, manufacturers for those consumer nations. Now they're just flipping it around. Uh, the ghost cities may or may not be used to house those that need re-education. Shipping them to China will be no big deal in the container ships. Security is everywhere, spraying our skies. Uh, we've now 5G looking inside homes, radiating everybody, and they have their biodiversity maps. It's also, uh, this is a very important map to study. This is their plans. This is a verified map of how there's too many people and they need to make bio-wetlands and biodiversity zones and what are people for. But this is also why the Common Core is introduced and they're introducing code, so we'll be writing code. The autonomous cars will take us where we want, but we won't be able to go anywhere else. Trump's mandate at New Year's, he stated, manufacturing jobs will be coming. He was very proud of State of the Union saying manufacturing jobs will be coming. They're telling us what they are doing, folks, and they're doing it through the United Nations, who's the front for the Jesuits and for the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, and the um, Courthoff Judens who do the service for them. So in closing here, I just want to bring you a big heads up. Remember uh, George Bush Sr. says the New World Order is a big idea. Well, this is their order. $100 bill saying we're going into gold. Look at the right side. It's all in gold with the Declaration of Independence, second paragraph, abolishing government. We are $57 trillion in debt since 2011. And it's growing, and it's growing, and it's growing. This is how they have a hold. They can crash the economy at will, but it's all based on debt. Mortgage means death pledge. They've got us by the balls, as George Carlin would say. They got us by the balls. So instead of resisting and speaking out, design a better design. Do a Bucky Fuller. 
keep your kids out of college, keep them out of debt, don't let them fall into the traps any longer, get them in growing their own food, knowing where water comes from, building their own things, fixing their own things, because the only way we're going to get through this is by being self-sufficient, self-reliant, and working with our neighbors. Please, only you can change the world one at a time. Plain Truth out. Thanks for listening. Peace. Where's your tattoo? Oh my god. Why come you don't have a tattoo? Oh my god. You're not unscannable, are you? Oh my god! You're unscannable. Thank you. Please speak your name as it appears on your current federal identity card. Document number G24L8. Well, I'm not sure if you have entered the name Not Sure. Is this correct? Not Sure. No, it's not correct. Thank you. Not is correct. Is sure correct? No, it's not. My name is Already Joe. Already confirmed. Your first name is not. Please confirm your last name. Sure. My, my last name is not sure. Oh, Thank you. No, not what I mean is sure. my my name is Joe. Is ba complete. Please wait while I tattoo your new identity on your arm. Wait a second. Can we start over? Can I cancel this? Can, can we cancel this and just go back to the beginning? They're, they're gonna tat. Ow. Could I speak to your supervisor? Please hold still for your photograph.